Hello and welcome to this tutorial about traffic lights. So first let me start about the, the meshes that you need or you will need. And we have to different between the body of the traffic light and the heads of the traffic lights, the, the thing that will change color. Okay. So for the body, it doesn't matter what you use. You can use uh, any mesh that you you have or, or have modeled. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, it's just for for the looks and the collisions. Uh, the th interesting thing uh, starts with the head, because the heads need to be in a specific uh, way. So as you can see here, I have two materials. I have the the body. You can see here changing colors. Okay. And then you have the emissive, uh, um, the, the machine shape the, that you, it will change colors when when order is in Unreal. You can see here in red. Okay, so it, it need to have two materials. Okay, one for the for the actual like mesh, the body of the health, and the other is the emissive. Once you have everything in, in, in order, you can export uh, the head separately and, and then you can uh, create the shape in Unreal Engine. So for now, uh, I will export this and bring it to Unreal Engine. Okay, so I have the meshes imported into Unreal, the health and the body. We can just create a new material to the body. I'll pause it. Okay, so the material is here. Uh, the blue one is the body. I use both for the body and the head of the traffic sign, traffic light. And we will go later into the material of the um, MSC. Okay, so first uh, you should locate the traffic light blueprints already on Carla. So you can go to blueprints and search for traffic here. And you have three. There are some difference between one another. Uh, the position, the, the number of heads. As you can see here, there are these three, two, one. So you can pick whatever you want and you can even delete or create a new one as I did here. I just copied this one. Okay. I'm going to open it. And you can see everything is already done here. You have the variables, you have the event graph, and the constructor script with everything. So first thing you want to see, maybe you want to update the body meshes. Uh, you could just delete this, or you could also come here. Let me put this a little bit smaller. And then I, I'm going to select the, the body and replace this with this. Okay, so now you can see that I have my mesh here. The orientation is wrong, so I just um, rotate it like so. Okay, and then maybe you could just delete this one or use one of your own. It doesn't matter. This is used for for show. Also, it has collision, and maybe you should create the actual collision because if or, or, or at least use the complex one because if you show the simple collision it and you didn't create one for the mesh it will look like this so the car will collide with this but you could come here and you can see the complex collision and look for collision around here um, yeah here in collision complexity you could select uh, use complex collision as simple. So if you click click this, you will see that now that the um, the simple collision is the actual actually the complex one. So the the car won't collide like this. But I, I don't remember doing this because the collision is way more complex than it should be because it's just using the mesh. So you could you could just create a, a basic collision. Um, like so, you see, you delete this one, you come here, and collision, no, here, collision, 
has box simplified collision and then you can just resize it this put this around here copy and paste uh, no you can't copy and paste you have to create another one and well you 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 know the drill is just like that so the car won't collide uh, and now you have the the simple collision that is way cheaper than the complex collision okay well that's used for the collisions now um and you can see that there is more details like like the uh, some button this around here uh, it doesn't seem visible right now so i just delete it and the base this is, i just leave, leave it for the for the looks it doesn't, doesn't matter so in order to to use your own meshes or maybe change these signs or these heads uh, you can come here in the first option here in the components and everything is here okay you can have a look at uh, all the components and you have the heads and then you have the props okay so as you can see for example this this first one is the this light you can select this because this is already in the in the blueprint so for example you want to put this a little bit higher you can type here another number and it will uh, apply and same with the rotation you can just if you want to delete it you click here and press delete um, the other is exactly the same just delete uh, this is another prop this is uh, and you, you can have a look at all everything here and you can add another one yourself if you want to just click here wait let, let me delete everything first okay <laughs> then i will add another one uh it already takes uh, a static mesh as a default so you can see it here see so you you just uh, pick whatever you want uh, you can for example this thing okay uh, this is just an example uh, and the same goes for the heads. The heads are here. See? And you can see Oh okay. I don't know why this is in the <laughs> in the head sections, but yeah. You can come here and you can alter the position. For example, this one it's at here. If I put it you can see how it moves. Okay, and for example, the height maybe it will be 700. No, less. Yeah, uh, you, you get the, the idea. And in order to change the health, you need to open this little thing and then this one. So you can see that they are different uh, meshes. Uh, right now it doesn't look like because this is exactly um, put together like this but you will see when I change this for hours see it, it goes <laughs> crazy and, and then maybe you, you want also to, to change the other ones like this and like this this is a problem uh, because of the um, of the pivot of the thing okay, so let me let me show you who, how can you fix this so to fix this you need to adjust the, the relative rotation because it is not the pivot as I thought <laughs> sorry it, it is the, the the transformation because the head is way too big so as you can see here the default head it has the pivot in the middle of the mesh so if I go to here you can see the overall mesh size is in the middle and in top view so ours are exactly the same so it, it doesn't look like this is a problem it's actually the 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 size of the mesh okay so to fix this you need to go to the relative rotation of each each head and maybe try 0.5 
it depends on the size of your heads so maybe uh, you, you could use export the default one in, in from Carla and create your own uh, using that as reference that you can see how everything uh, kind of fight fit to fit in in position right now also you, you can see that the, um, the material doesn't correspond as the one we use and that is because uh, when we created our mesh the position of the materials is not the same as the, as the original ones so you can see here that first is the like this uh, yellow one the, the body of the head and then the other is just the, the emissive okay so in order to fix this uh, you can tinker around here in the viewport uh, in the blueprint but i don't recommend that you can come here to the actual health or health so as i tell you 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 could use go to maya and or the software you you use and you could you, you need to reassign the materials in order so it fits the one in a real engine or another solution you can come to your head here and you can see what's the order of the materials you know as i told you first is the body and then is the emissive and here in the load zero settings you can see this is the the same order right because this is how the blueprint is uh, programmed but if you wanted to change the order of the material here you could click here and then uh, select here the one and hit the zero and you save it and you can see that the order is fixed um, there is another way to fix this if you don't want to change the mesh uh, you can see it is reverted uh, you have to go to the construction script and look for these nodes it's around the middle see so here is where you uh, sorry the blueprints uh, assign the material to the element of the mesh uh, dynamically so you can see here this is an index this is the same that this so one index is this and zero index is this uh, and that's why right now is assigning the emissive material to the body to the material that is the body this thing because this is the one and the emissive is the zero okay so in order to change that you need to come here and use a zero instead of a one so the first index the, uh, sorry the, the first uh, index element is the zero and you can see how it is changed but maybe you have more uh, <coughs> more blue uh, sorry blueprints in your scenes and you don't want to change the actual blueprint so i recommend you just change the order of the um, uh, the material slots here so i will do this again and as you can see everything work, works fine <coughs> I, I removed the material of this just to show you, but I will put this around again. Oh, sorry, not the one. Yeah. So now you can see everything is working as intended. And if you want to change the other heads, you could also do that. Um, this is the zero. And the next one. Is this and also you you could use whatever you want I'm just use I'm just gonna use the same because it's, it will be faster for for the tutorial I will pause it okay uh, you see that I've already set that one up and I just going to delete this one I assuming this is the two yeah this is the two so um, Oh, it's, it's around here, sorry. You have to click in the little arrow and then delete. And I will do the same for the signs because it doesn't really matter right now. So you can see this is the new um, traffic light. Okay. This this is the box that will uh, where it will indicate 
uh, the trigger of the the mesh or the traffic light so if you you can move or you can take tinker with this as you like but don't don't delete it because it, it knows that it will it will it will not work so i will put this in my scene but first if you are using unreal engine 4 for carla you should come to the um, sub levels that you can find around here these windows then levels and this will open and then you can have a look at the sub levels we have we have one that is called layout that it has everything related to the layout of the map so you can see if i hide this one the uh, traffic lights disappear uh, along with the ground and some other stuff so first as I said before, if you are in Unreal 4, you need to be in this level. Otherwise, it won't work and, and it will crash. Okay, so first, you make sure that the um, the little lock here is unlocked, and then double click, uh, double click, sorry, and you see that this is a gray out, um, uh, blue, blue. Holy shit! Sorry for my English. <laughs> and well, once you are here. Now you can like select the traffic lights, you can move it. If, if this is locked, you can't see, I, I can click now. Well, well, I just don't look it again. And now you can drag your traffic light here. You can see it has the little trigger box as well. It has our heads, our body and uh, whatever this is. But there is another more thing you need to do, okay? Uh, you should uh, rename this, just in, in case you, you forget. And then you need to go to details. You can see here, everything is set already here. The lights, we, we did in the, in the blueprint. You could change as well things here, but uh, just, uh, just know that this will only affect this blueprint you know if you duplicate this and change anything here for example I'm going to put here around 10 you see it doesn't affect this because this is a, a, a copy this is not the uh, parent blueprint this is just a, a copy of, of the parent this is a child and it won't affect if you want this to affect all the same blueprints you need to modify the parent the one that is here in the content browser okay but doesn't matter right now so next thing you need to do is look for traffic light group here here you can see this in the world of liner and you can see that it already have some um, traffic lights here you could also have your own traffic light group, but if I guess you are already in uh, the tone with traffic light group created, so I don't see it necessary. But yeah, you can see here I created a new one. It's if it's a little sphere. I'll just delete. It is around this location. It is content Carla static traffic light street light one. And this is the traffic light groups okay but I, I just select this one because it's already on the scene and now this is why you need to be in the same sub level because otherwise you won't be able to select the the um, traffic light your new traffic light so you can see here we have a drop down list you could click in plus and then with the pickaxe or front you, you can look it around here I, I just name it tutorial so it will it, it will only appear this one but maybe you already know where is the um, the traffic light you, you can click in the in the little uh, color picker here and then click and you can see that uh, it added to your traffic light okay so now I will save and I will test this traffic light because uh, you need to be in play in order to to see the lights you right now they are um, turned off but everything is turned off so that's normal behavior so 
so let's wait. Okay, Carla started. Uh, the game is on, so we can have a look at the. Oh yeah, that's another test I did. <laughs> so you can see how the um, the traffic lights are on right now, and this is our traffic lights, our new traffic light. So right now it's on red. Uh, let's wait until the that traffic light group would change to another color. So maybe I think this is the the same traffic group. Uh, you can't see the um, the my cursor bar is I'm around. Yeah, yeah, you have seen how it is going to from red to green. So that means that the traffic uh, light is working. And I I will try now to show you how the cars react to this. So let me pause everything again. So I'm testing this with this uh, vehicle. As you can see, I put, I changed the location of the street light, uh, sorry, the traffic light, and I'm waiting it to go to green. Okay, now it's green. I will press autopilot, and you will see how the car just go through the traffic lights. There you go. Now I will stop autopilot as well and go reverse to repeat the same when the light is red. As you can see, now it's red. I hear autopilot. It will go and it will stop where the trigger box box is. If you remember the other tri trigger box that I talked before, uh, you could uh, change the, um, the size of the. <coughs> Let me show you that it will go when the turn the lights turn gray. Uh, you can change the size of the trigger box in order to, to, to tell the, the car where you want it to stop. Uh, I will show you before after the after the, the car moves. Yeah it's green and it goes. So the traffic light works as you can see and you can configure it whatever you like. Let me stop everything. Okay, I'm here again, and as you can see, uh, if you proceed, you can see the, the, the stuff are going around the, the scene, and then you can click in the traffic light, you can position it wherever you want, for example around here, and then you can come to the details of the traffic lights and select the trigger box, and then you can place it and scale it as, as as you like. Sorry if you hear some weird noises in the background. Is that my bird? So, and yeah, for example, if you put the trigger box here, the car will stop here and only here. This is the, the area with it, where it will stop. So maybe you want to configure this for each individual traffic light because you know you don't know where is going to stop the vehicle until you place the actual traffic light so yeah I think that's everything remember to add your traffic light into the traffic light group uh, any any malfunction on these groups will crash your scene and real in time so if you are getting some random crashes and you don't know what's going on uh, just discard the sub level of the I mean, if you are using, for example, source tree, you can come here and discard this one. That will reset everything to, to, to its previous state, and you, you make sure that nobody is changing. And you can use that, that in order to see if, if maybe something went wrong with the traffic groups. But remember, if you have, you don't add your traffic light into any traffic light group and you put the blue ring in the scene it will crash and if you add a traffic light in the traffic light group and you don't select anything it will also crash so just keep it that in mind okay uh, that's everything sorry for the long video and as I said sorry for my English uh, I hope it, it helps you if you have any question just reach me through discord you can find me there and that's all. Thank you.